To submit your census or drops, you'll first need to log into the My Hancock portal. From there, you'll scroll to the left side, scroll down under Faculty Tools, and select Rosters and Attendance. From there, you'll select Census and Drop Rosters. You are now on the CRN CRN listing page. From this page, you can select which term you would like to view or select all terms to view all of your rosters available. Use the drop down menu, which defaults to all terms, to change the term. In addition to selecting the terms you wish to view, you can also change the columns around or limit what is visible on your screen. To re reorganize the columns, simply click on a column heading and drag it and drop it into the new location. To remove or add columns, use the drop down on the right hand side of the screen next to the mini Parthenon. Note that title cannot be removed. To drill down on each CRN, you can select the CRN number, which is a hyperlink, and it will provide you with class details. In addition, it will provide other details that include the bookstore, the syllabus, enrollment and structured meeting times, etc. On this screen, it will also show you if you have submitted or not submitted your census. In the example, CBOT 337, you can see two dates listed. The 8-17-2022 to 8-23-2022 is the time frame you are able to submit your census. 8.23 is the last day to submit the census for this particular course. The 8.24.2022 to 9.23.2022 is the, the time range in which you can use to drop students and those students will be assigned a W. So if you want to submit your census, you will select the white space. From here, you will see your class roster. In addition, you can also email a student by selecting the student and emailing an individual student, or you can email the entire roster for your CRN. In addition, you can see and toggle between column headings. All are available to remove. Also, you can search by student using the search field. Also in the class roster video, you can also export from this class roster as well. To submit your census, you will select the students or student that needs to be dropped by going to the action column and selecting census faculty drop. You will then press submit. It will give you a preview of the students that you selected and another opportunity to confirm these are the students you wish to drop. From then you will then select confirm. In the right hand top of your screen, you will see green boxes that appear. Those are confirmations that the student was dropped. You can then confirm by going back to the drop roster status page, which is an overview of all, all of your classes and see under the last submitted column that your census was submitted with a date timestamp. You will use this page again to, to drop students throughout your course during the specified time period.